I am single. I'm like, okay, God, you know, time's ticket now. 25's approaching, like 30's in five years, like, what's, what's going on? <laughs> Hi guys, it's Brie, welcome back to my channel. And today, I wanna to talk about singleness. Yeah, I wanna talk about singleness. Um, <laughs> I feel like, you know, when there's like an elephant in the room, like, that's what it is, singleness. Um, yeah, and if you see my nails, you need to see my nails. Okay, let's get into the video. So, um, I, I'm single. I'm joking. I'm single. And um, what I want to talk about is like, be, so basically the video should be called Nearly 25 and Single. Um, yeah. So like, I am nearly 25. I'm 24 at the moment. And like, I'm single. And like, I want to talk about like, sorry, I'm rambling. I'm actually nervous to talk about this topic. Like, I want to talk about like um, the pressures of the pressures of being single, the pressures of like being si single. What, well, basically, what the world wants single people to do, as um, yeah, like <sighs> let me reword that. What the world want people to do, what they expect us to do as a single person like you know the, the 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 strains of being a single person if you want to say strains um yeah so <clears throat> as i said backstory about me i've said it in like how many other videos before like so going in church been in church since i was like four years five years old um so it's been like 20 years 20 years 20 years and um in that time you basically obviously have like friends that you grow up with friends that obviously started off single with you because obviously when you're like five years old ten years old they are they're young in it so um yeah so obviously like you grow up with your friends friends that are older than your friends that are the same age as you and like you're obviously all single together so you don't really think about being single when you're young you'll probably have like your first crush and stuff like that but like it's actually not that deep because you're like what 11 years old nothing can happen at 11 12 13 14 15 so um yeah so then obviously i got older now like as i said this recording this video is a bit awkward because like everybody around me is in a relationship um everybody around me whether it's they are engaged they are dating they are married they have children you know whether it's one of those or whether they may be about to go into a relationship i don't know talking stage like they're like have a they have a specific other it's not specific other they have someone that they're interested in and then there's me <laughs> um yeah so like i want to just like talk and like about like being single at my age because as i said i'm a christian i've said this in like every video everybody knows that i'm a christian i'm a born again christian and i am i'm an obviously an, i'm an adult like i'm nearly 25 and for for um me all i see around me is either people that are christians and they want to live their life to please god and they want to do things that's right um, so that means abstaining from sex, that means doing nothing that's sexual, um, having Christ in the centre of their relationship, their walk with God as well. And then there's like the other side to it, the people that, I mean, can I just say as well, I'm not, I'm not making this video to like judge people, like obviously we're all grown, we're grown and like everybody is entitled to make their own decisions and live their own way because it's all about free will, isn't it? So like, I'm not making this video just to be like, <laughs> I'm single, but like, at least I'm not doing that. I'm single, but like, you know, I'm I'm where God wants to be. I'm really, I'm not trying to do that. I'm just, I'm just trying to, I'm just trying to talk, I'm just trying to talk. So, um, yeah. So there's, there's that. 
so there's there's, there's kind of like two sides to the to the coin there's two sides of the story that doesn't make sense but you know there's two sides um yeah so like as i said like growing up in church you always see like there's always like people that are dating get like as I said, like being a church kid, there's always a wedding, there's always like an engagement, there's always a wedding, there's always a baby, there's always this and there's always that. And I'm not gonna lie, like for me, I'm like, this is great. I am so happy, like genuinely, I'm happy for my friends that are in the will of God, that like, you know, they are in a relationship that glorifies God, that they're saved. They love Jesus. They're they're powering on for God. Like I'm all for that. I'm all for that. And um and because of that, I'm like, I just want to be so real. I just want to be so real. Like I don't know, man. If you guys um if you guys understand where I'm coming from, please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Like don't forget because like I I want to hopefully like make more. Like with this with this, another side note. If you haven't noticed by right now, I really sometimes go off. Anyway with this whole youtube channel i want it to be like you see me as like single you see me engaged you see me married and then you see me obviously with kids like i want you to see like the whole journey of three of me like anyway yeah back to what i was saying so like as i said growing up in church you see so many people they date they get engaged they get married kids so on and so forth and it's like when you've been in church for so long, when you've been around your friends for so long, you're like, Wah. okay, so she's on to her third kid. Uh, God, what's going on? Like, God, I'm really out here. I mean, another thing, can I talk about this? I'm gonna talk about this. Another thing is, obviously, yeah, you wanna get married, you wanna date and all of that, but then you're only really working with what you have in your church. And like, <laughs> if there's a drought in your church, then it's actually be like, not saying that you can only marry within your church. That's mad. You can't limit God. But obviously it's easier to marry in your church because you've obviously, you maybe have grown up with the guy slash girl. You know them, you were friends before, this, that, that. You know like each of us families you know you're very acquainted with each other so it's not the case of like are uh, you um you see someone that you're interested in but you don't know them that well or you know them but you don't know them as well as you would know someone from your own church and like people the thing is with this like this is where people don't really encourage internet dating like online dating and all of that because it's like people always put their best foot forward people always like if you see someone you're interested in you're not gonna like walk and then like trip or you're not gonna like i don't know you're not gonna like talk and then dribble or spit or something like that you're gonna like make sure your lips are patterned your brows are patterned your hair is patterned like you're gonna make sure that your best foot is forward um yeah so and because of that it's like yeah so what i was saying is like in churches i ain't trying to bear out any church but i'm just saying in churches there's really like a lack there can be a lack of like the opposite sex so like some churches have bare men and like not a lot of women <clears throat> whereas other churches have like a lot of women young women older women just doesn't matter varies and not a lot of men um, and I do think the reason for that sometimes is like the reason attack on men um, most men like growing up they don't really like go to church and stuff like that like some of them they go to church when they grow up but then they like, fall away and then they get into the wrong crowd and you know and then you have like people that have just grown up in church they've remained saved and then still saved as they they, they, they go on they get older um, yeah so my point in saying all of that is, but what you know, saying all of that is like sometimes there's not like a lot of variety. Like it's like same old. Like you could see a guy that you've grown up with, and you're like, this could never happen because like that's bro, that's that's my bro. But at the same time, like I've I've had friends that they will be like, yeah, that's my bro, that's my sis, and then they're really engaged next year. Like you're like, oh, okay. 
never saw that one coming um so so yeah like it, it, it's crazy but also as well like when you do grow up with people in your church as well it's like you um what's the word you 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 see them you know them you know what triggers them you know what annoys them you know basically a lot about them because obviously you've grown up with them and it's like you can become very familiar with that person because you obviously see them like what three times a week twice a week you see them every week you see them all the time so you're like yeah nothing could ever happen with that and another thing for me like i'm not sure if you know like if you're interested in somebody that like, i know for me like it's not just it's not just like dating to date and that's what i should have mentioned in the first place like with christian dating how it should be is you see someone you see someone you're interested in them and you know you start this relationship blah 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 and you know that when you start this relationship that this relationship is going to go from friends to marriage like it's not going to be from friends to friends with benefits to the bed that is actually not what is going to happen because even with stuff like that yeah there's so, much, there's so much broken homes, broken people, because people don't, they don't have marriage in mind. It's literally, especially with like people my age and younger and even a bit older, there's so much like, oh, try it before you buy it, do this, do that. And it's like, God didn't intend people just to sleep around with, with each other. He intended marriage, hence why he put marriage he put marriage in the forefront, he put marriage there because he wants, he knows that when you have marriage, you have stability. And as I said, there's so many broken homes because there's no stability. Like even me, I've said it in um, my um, foster care story, I will link that, that like even me, like I have came from a very broken home and because I've seen like no dad in the picture and basically no mom in the picture, it, it really kind of messed with me at the same time because it's like people would start to take advantage you know if you know that somebody doesn't really have um they don't have someone around they don't have their dad around most girls because of that they tend to like go with guys they tend to go with guys that are older than them they tend to go with guys that um will maybe hurt them like physically hurt them mentally hurt them because that's all they know and that's that they, they basically don't really expect more and because then they don't really know what love is as well and then the flip side of that with guys guys that don't really that aren't really raised in a secure um a secure household with a mom and dad they tend and they don't basically have a father figure in their house they tend to like either become very angry at the world so you see so many guys in prison and stuff like that because they become very angry with the world or they um tend to go with women that are very strong minded and um yeah very strong minded and yeah yeah very very strong minded because they i think they say that men look for someone that's like their mom so obviously that that means like the nurturing side i'm guessing and then women tend to go for someone that more, is more like their dad you know that can protect them that can provide for them and stuff like that so um yeah so that's why i that's what not even just what i'm saying i'm talking about the bible like god that's why god designed um he designed marriage because he knows that when you have a marital structure I'm not saying it's gonna like you still probably will have problems because nothing is perfect of course not but like the still like the head of the household the husband and then the wife and then the kids and then on top of them is god so there's still that protection um yeah so as i said like growing up and seeing like seeing the two different ways of like dating the two different ways of like having been in relationships for me, as a as a church kid, you could say, like for me, I always knew what I wanted to do with my life. I always knew that like, I didn't just wanna be with any guy. I didn't wanna just, you know, um, give myself to like any guy because really and truly like, as I say, like guys in the world, their one aim, I mean, maybe not every guy, but the trash guys that I know out there, <laughs> that's that's all they that's all they want they literally just want sex 
that is literally all they want um they might like i don't know wine and dine you they might like take you on a trip they might take you this place they might take you that place but really and truly they're only doing that because they know what they want essentially um and for christians that should be the total opposite christian men of god they obviously should not be trying to wine and dine you to take you to the bedroom or to take you to a hotel or to take you anywhere except to the altar <laughs> except to the altar um and I, I hope this isn't like triggering for people because i know that like this this generation especially is just so obsessed so obsessed with sex money girls guys like what this person thinks of them and what that person thinks of them and like as a christian we shouldn't really think about like the worldly things we shouldn't really think of things that aren't true and good and godly and stuff like that you know because obviously we're christians so i mean i hope i'm not rambling too much of this video because as again I, I just thought you know what singleness you're actually single why don't you just make a video on this and i'm sure i hope i hope that this can like resonate that people can relate to this video even like if you're married you can think back to like when you were single like how it was for you and stuff like that because like even now there is so much pressure like oftentimes people think because you're single you have so much time on your hands like people think like they think like oh yeah she's single she can make this event she can make that event okay i am never gonna lie i can sometimes make events but i mean i think as i'm getting older i realize that like you can't be everywhere like i'm really that person that's like I'm, th I'm there for the vibe i'm there to catch a vibe but i realize you actually cannot be everywhere and like as i said like working church uni all these things that i'm doing and even like a social life as well like i say in every video um like i can't actually be everywhere but like i think people think that you actually can be everywhere when you can't like you know i think the bible does talk about like when you're married your heart's divided that like a married woman compared to a single woman she has to provide for her her family so she will cook she'll clean you know she will do different things she'll support her husband and obviously her husband will be bring the bread i mean they both can bring the bread like you know we're living in 2022 you both can you both can do that but it's like and then whoever is a single person obviously they will have time they should have more time for god they should have more time for the things of god they shouldn't have more time to you know to do different things but like as a married woman you're not able to do that because obviously you're busy with your your husband your kids your this your that god obviously has to be in the center of everything the relationship but you know your heart is divided um so yeah like i just want to say to like single girls out there even single guys out there like you know um being single is a blessing like i was what i was listening to um a podcast from godly day in 101 and <laughs> I, I saw the um, episode on singleness and i was just like oh my gosh here we go again like you know singleness is a blessing blah blah blah, blah. but then i actually deeped and i actually listened to it and i deeped like singleness is a blessing like you make one of like there's two most important um decisions you will make in your life the first one is to give your life to jesus that is the most important and the second most important is who you're going to marry so like because who you marry literally like stems everything so who you marry you can marry somebody that like isn't gonna doesn't want to preach the gospel so then you therefore obviously if your husband's not going to do it then you obviously can't do it so that rules that out or someone wants to be a missionary um, so you can be a missionary, this, that, so many different things. I'm just saying it from the, the, the Christian perspective, but there's so many different things. Someone that wants to, I don't know, in five years move to America and, you know, just chill, this, 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 this. Whereas the wife could be like, I don't want to move to America. I want to move to Nigeria, Ghana. I want to move to this place because God's called me to be that. It's so like before that, when you're dating, I'm guessing that you talk about like your future aspirations and like where you believe god wants to take you or god's gonna take you and then from that you can choose whether or not if you're gonna move on in the relationship or if you're gonna cut it <laughs> if you're gonna cut it off um but yeah you have two 
two um major decisions salvation and who you marry and like there's so many people that like they marry and it's like maybe they might for the vibes are like oh yeah she she's paying she's this she's that she's got she's got this she's got that but it's like you have to deep and be like do you think she can actually mother your kids do you think that she'd be suitable to be the more of your kids someone could be like yeah i'm gonna i'm gonna marry for the vibes because she's paying she's this she's got a certain figure she's got this she's got that and then the the woman could be like i'm gonna marry because he's he's like six foot he's chocolate he's this he's that and it's like that i mean to a certain degree is all right i'm guessing like we all have our preferences we all have like what we like um but at the same time, it has to be more than just that. Like, you can't just be like, I'm gonna marry this person because of like the outward. It needs to be like, oh, what is she like when, with her family? What is she like with her church? What is she like with different people? Have you seen her when she's angry? Does she get angry easily? Is she easily triggered? What is she like with money? Also for guys as well, what are they like with money? Um, different things like so many different things and it's like it has to be more than just like what you see like it has to be more than just you know this person is just nice to look at because the bible talks about beauty fades like you're not gonna be paying for your life i mean some people might be but not everybody not everyone's gonna be paying for their whole of their life not everyone's gonna have nice skin nice this nice figure nice physique nice I mean, even even like older men start to shrink. So it's like, guys, your height cannot actually save you. When you're 85, you may result, you may go back to like 5'7". So um, <laughs> your height can't always save you, mate. Um, yeah, so like, as I was saying, like, I just want people to know that like, being single, actually, sorry, that's what the girly dating was saying before. Like being single isn't like some kind of disease. It's not like some kind of, you know, something that you, you don't want people to know that you're single because it's, you know, being single is actually, I'm not gonna lie, like I do like being single. It doesn't mean I wanna be single for the rest of my life, but I do like, it's, it's actually all right. Like even like with me, I'm so spontaneous. Like I'd be like, okay, I'm gonna go to this city and I'll go. Or like me and my friends are like, oh, let's do this and I'll do it because it's like you don't have that much. I mean, you don't have time on your hands. You have time on your hands, but like you're not like limited to, oh my gosh, I'm married. I need to tell my husband that I'm going to this place or I need to tell my wife that I'm not going to be here. Who's going to pick up the kids? Like when you're single, that's if you're single without children, then you can literally just pick up yourself and be like, I'm going to Paris next week and go. I mean, if you have money, but like I go. <laughs> so, um, yeah. I don't know where this video is going. I believe God is putting this into my heart and into my head because, it, it, yeah, it, it's it's one of them topics, isn't it? But um, yeah, man, like I don't know, God, God, like as I said, like if you're out there, like and you're single, like don't feel like it's the be all and end all because I've watched different videos on singleness and stuff, and they will say like they have a, um, a, a clock. Obviously, women, our bodies aren't the same as men, so like obviously there's a, there's a window of like where it's more easier where you're more fertile to have children and then like after that certain age it becomes more harder as well but we know that in the bible with like sarah and abraham that like god still did that doesn't mean i know us christian girls doesn't mean we want to be like 85 and popping up babies like really truly no but god is showing us and he's telling us that like He's God and he's God over every situation, every circumstance, every problem. He is still God. Every circumstance, every situation, he is still God. And that we need to trust him, trust him that he, in the right time, he will bring that right woman for a man and that right man for a woman. The one thing that we, that we don't want to do is get into relationships with people that aren't gonna bring out the best in us that is the one thing that we don't want to do whoever we're with we want it to be the case of we complement each other we can both grow in god together we can both push each other to be better in christ because 
God, God, he doesn't like, as I said, we, he doesn't like divorce. So you don't want to, you don't get into a relationship with somebody to, for, to, to be like, oh yeah, I'm going to get married, whatever. But you know, there might be a possibility of a divorce because his feet stink. This is terrible at cleaning or his lazy as this, like all of that you would honestly talk about <laughs> when you're dating. So like, you're not like in a marriage and you realize this person snores <laughs> and you realize there's no way out and then you have sleep as much for the next 50 years of your life sorry that's i know it's a bit weird but that's something that i think about, <laughs> that's what I think about. anyway so um yeah like if you guys like this video and you would want me to do more videos on singleness i would be happy happy to because i am very um i know a lot about that topic God has a plan for each and every one of us. He knows our desires. Because sometimes I'll be like, God, have you ever just got to the stage like you're just like, <sighs> like, like, you're like, how am I telling you what I say? Like, you're like, I don't know, you're happy when your friends are in relationships, of course, that glorifies God, of course. You're, you're happy. But you're just like, I'm tired. Like, why is it me that's not the one that's celebrating 10 year and okay that's a bit i'm really nearly 25 but okay not 20, 10 year anniversary that's celebrating five year anniversary or that's doing this or that's going on vacations or that's you know sometimes you know, I, listen i'm being real i am being so real like sometimes i'm like, like god summer's coming and i'm really still single like what's going on i'm getting older and i'm still single what's going on 30 is in five years what is going on but god said to me sabrina chill chill he's like chill he's like i have got it under control and doesn't matter any age you are you may be 30 you may be 25 you may be 35 god has a plan and if it's on your heart to be married by god's grace if he doesn't come back or whatever you'll be married like you know but the bible it, it not everyone will be married say like i don't want to like say but like say you're like 95 you might not be married but even if we don't get married we should be so happy with who god is who god is making us among us to be that like we should be so happy with who god's made us to be that we'll be content with the season of life that we're in right now i also just want to say as a quick hey i just want to say as well like christian women christian men don't feel like you have to settle just to be in a relationship don't feel like because you're not where you want to be or because you're not dating or whatever engaged married that you have to lower your standards to be in a relationship a relationship that is that has came from god will mean you won't have to settle i want to say settle i don't mean like you want a guy that is six foot two dark skin with a beard but you get a guy instead that is six foot brown skin with no beard that's not what i mean i mean as in settling with your morals settling with what you stand for so as a christian we don't have sex before marriage settling would mean basically doing what <laughs> what basically the bible talks not to do so having sex before marriage doing sexual acts doing things that don't please god and don't glorify god so i just wanted to throw that out there don't feel like you're being picky unless you are being picky unless there's bare people you can be with and you're really not because he's not what you your ideal type but i mean like don't don't um settle for what the devil will offer you um, instead of what God can give you and what will last and um, because obviously if you put Christ in the middle of any relationship anything that you do it will always succeed and um, I just wanted to throw that out there because so many people feel like they have to settle just to be in a relationship that they have to settle just to be happy and you really don't just because you're waiting and you're 25 you're 30 doesn't mean that when you're you're 30 you're 35 that you're you're basically pleased with how do i put this somebody that has rushed into a relationship at whatever age whatever stage they're in 
may feel think that they're happy and may think because this person has given me a child or this person has given me what I've always wanted that they're happy but true happiness that we know as Christians true happiness comes from God like true love also as well comes from God as alone as well so don't don't feel like you have to lower your standards to get a man or a woman just wanted to throw that out there and with that note i am gonna end the video guys you know the vibe don't forget to like comment and subscribe bye guys <laughs>